Aka was originally portrayed as the torso of a recumbent lion with a wide open mouth. Later, he was represented as two recumbent lion torsos that had combined and were still staring away from each other. Aka originally occurs with the kings pharaohs Horahal and Jir during the first dynasty. Aka was first described as one of the earth gods protecting the portal to the distant location. He defended the late monarch from the three evil snakes Hemtet, Ikeru, and J.A.G.W. Aka shot the deceased monarch away from the serpent demon's poisonous breath by encircling Ai. Interring him, Geb was another earth divinity who joined and promoted Aka's activities. As a result, Aka was linked to Geb. Aka is associated with Seth and even the set animal in various charms and prayers. In the legendary Corfin texts of Middle Kingdom period, Aka replaces the god Kurti, becoming now the ferryman of Ra in his nightly bark. Aka guards the sun god as he travels through the nether caverns at night. After safely transporting Kepri's sarcophagus through the subterranean passages, Aka gives birth to the deity Kepri, the youthful, rising sun in the guise of a scarab beetle. According to the legendary Book of the Dead, Aka is seen carrying Ra's nocturnal bark in different underworld scenarios. Aka is protected by the deity Geb on his voyage, in which he is requested to hide the body of the dead Osiris beneath his womb. Aka was linked to the horizons of the north and west in various inscriptions, wall paintings and reliefs constructing a mythological bridge between the two horizons with his body. Certain coffin tablets from the tombs of Ramesses IV, Jidkonsu Inc. and P. D. Aminipet depict how the sun god Ra journeys through the underworld like Apophis traveling through the belly of Aka after Apophis was cut by Seth. In this example, Aka appears to be a portrayal of the underworld itself.